I think the last time you filmed me, filmed me, I became an associate professor, and then, and this summer I managed to get to reader as well. So you know, one below, one below full professor, I've done very well. Um, but the more higher you go up, the less you actually spend at the bench, and the more you spend behind your desk writing, answering emails, writing grants, writing papers, reports, etc. And to actually have two days out to do actually what you're good at, because that's how you got on the route in the first place. You were good at this stuff. Right? and then they make you not do it. <laughs> it's actually a huge amount of fun. Um, this is a massive play box for me. Um, to come, you know, I know a lot of the people here. Um, I can come down and I can play with all these techniques and then apply it to the stuff that I've got going back in, back in Nottingham as well. Uh, this is the Diamond Synchrotron at, uh, Ox in Oxfordshire at the Rutherford Appleton Laboratory, uh, which is one of the, as you see, one of a very large scientific facility and probably one of the best in the world. Uh, it's been open now for about four years. And why am I here? Well, I've got two days a week sabbatical time here for about four months and that's been fantastic. So I shall be working, if you can swing the camera around and you see a number three, yep. if you see the pink number three over there, somewhere down there you'll see, you, I'll be working away on a beam line called I, I-22. Uh, which is on a technique called SAC, small angle X-ray scattering. I shall be sitting there on a Saturday morning um, pushing samples through with uh, a postdoc and a postgrad. It's actually a test at the moment, um, so we're developing a lot of the techniques. So we've got a variety of samples which all have different properties we want to put through, of which of course we're putting through a few samples we want to get some real results on. Uh, and the technique will give us sort of size and shape of these molecules and lower resolution. You didn't still haven't told me samples of what though, is it like ah. mi milk or...? Ah, or proteins, that? proteins, small proteins. Um, so we're going to have um, various bits of proteins which are bind to DNA, um, which are involved in process called transcription, which is turning your genes on and off. Uh, we've got several of those. Um, we've got some which are uh, involved in recombination, which is what happens when cells divide and bits and pieces combine together from different, on different chromosomes as well. Uh, plus a whole load of what we call the standard test samples, um, the bovine serum albumin, lysozymes and such like. They're just different molecular weights and you can buy by the bucket from the chemical manufacturers. Um, so we know what they do. <laughs> Well, this is actually one of the things that I'm doing here. Uh, we're also working over on that side of the campus is the neutron source. Uh, and uh, right behind you is the research complex, which has a lot of biophysical equipment in. Um, one of the things that I'm very interested in is how we can combine the information from those techniques to get an answer, get a better answer. Because sometimes if you apply one technique, you get quite a diffuse answer. It's a number of options and how can we put those back together. So there's actually a bit of programming, a bit of maths going on as well, and a bit of decision making. So hopefully the techniques we've developed over here we can embed in other places so they become the, the way that you start to do these type of, approach these type of problems. You don't approach it with one thing, you approach it with many things. So would it, would it be fair to say you're not so interested in the structure of these proteins as the techniques you use to find that structure? Absolutely. Uh, this, in, this, in this particular project, that's absolutely right. Although the postdoc coming down, I'm on the grant, and obviously we are interested in the structure of the protein. <laughs> what we're not interested in um, is really beyond that at the moment. It's how we can put these things together. We had a bit of a lull in the lab at the moment with not many people in. Um, so my plan was to write lots of papers and grants. And coming down here means I can do projects and write papers and write grants. So from that point of view, it's been brilliant. Ah, yes, yes. <laughs> uh, I got awarded some beam time out of the normal route of things because it's an in-house testing I, and we wanted to do this together to test a new technique and equipment. And it's arrived and it's arrived on the 10th of December, which also is my daughter's 11th birthday. So this Saturday, I've got to take her into Nottingham almost as compensation, and I've got a feeling it's going to cost me. <laughs>